Right, a couple of interesting questions in the assess. Um, let's just take a look at it. I've got here question 8, which is C rated. It says, and I'm going to write it around the grid and maybe plot it to see, let's plot the answer to see if we got it right. D is the point 1, 4. So D is the point 1, 4. And E is the point 3, minus 3. And this is the assess question 8. D is the point 1, 4. And it says, what are the coordinates of the midpoint of DE? So, okay, let's do it by calculation. We've got um, X is 1 plus 3. There's the two X's there, over 2. Well, that's 4 over 2, otherwise known as 2. So that's the X part done. And the Y parts, we've got um, 4 plus minus 3. 4 plus minus 3, divide by 2. 4 minus 3 is 1 over 2. Answer, a half. So I've now got to plot the point 2, half. That's what I've just generated. 2 along, half up. Let's see if it works. Um, what have we got here? 1, 4. 1, 4 is there. 3 minus 3 is there. Try and draw in a little line segment between the two. There and there, I think. So let's see if it actually looks good. 2, my, two and a half. 2 along, half up. Oh, it's difficult to plot, isn't it? Really hard. But it's right, though. Look. Two along, there's one, there's two, so two, one, two, a half. Absolutely good. So that's the coordinate, two, a half. Please note, coordinates don't have to be whole numbers, they can be simple fractions. Obviously, it's got to be simple, we're going to plot it um, you know, by hand on a grid, so that's completely correct. All right, that's that one. Now, I might try another question on the same grid, hopefully, it won't crash too much. So back to black now. Um, again, I'm working on this blind. It's got here, W is the midpoint of the line UV. Right, so U is the coordinate minus 3, 0. And W is the midpoint, 1, 2. So, note to self, midpoint. Massive exclamation mark there. So, I've now got to find the coordinates of V. Well, I've worked backwards, haven't I? So, V is blank x and a blank y. Remember it's done by averages. So let me just do my x coordinate here. Here I go. Minus 3 plus mystery x. When I divide by 2, let's have a look, let's get this right. Minus 3 is known. Minus 3 plus mystery x when I divide by 2 comes to 1. That's what it says there, because m because W, sorry, not M, W is my midpoint. So I've got to work and find it backwards that way. Work backwards and find it. So um, what have I got here? Take the 2 over and multiply. I've got minus 3 plus X equals 2. So uh, X is going to be 2. Take the minus 3 over and plus it like a simple equation. The X part is 5. So the X coordinate belonging to V is 5. I'll put a little blue 5 there. That will help me later. Now let's work in red to work out the y's. I'll work down here. Right, y coordinate. Nothing plus my mystery y value. When I divide by 2, should give me an answer of 2. Because that's my midpoint value for y. I take the 2 over and multiply. So nothing plus mystery y is going to be 2 times 2, which is 4. So therefore, y equals 4. So, put my 4 there with the y, and that's my coordinate for v, uh, 5, 4. Let's plot the whole thing to make sure it makes sense, and I hope it doesn't crash into the previous question. This is question 9, the most challenging one. So, let's see if I can do it. I've got to plot the point minus 3, 0. Well, minus 3, 0 is right there. My The new coordinate I calculated was um, 5, 4. Oh dear, it's in the way. <laughs> Can you believe it? 5, 4. And uh, let's just draw a line segment there in blue. Now, according to my calculation, the midpoint will be 1, 2. Look at that. 1 along, 2 up. Right there. I can see visually that 1, 2 is between the line segment uh, joining, uh, joined by the coordinates, joined between the coordinates, minus 3, 0, and 5, 4. That was coordinate named U. That was coordinate 
named V and W is the midpoint right there. I'm so sorry it crosses the other question. Never mind, it makes a lovely little mess there. But um, that is quite challenging working backwards. And I had to think a little bit. Still only grade C, but it's really pushing it. And that's the end of the introduction to graphical work, the introduction to coordinates at foundation level. And uh, we'll look at chapter 7 in due course. Thank you for watching. Now go home and study.